What's up, people of the internet? My name is Alticor, and welcome back to TerraTech. So, last time, we sort of had to reset, and, well, we made our progress to, to what our base is currently, and what we are currently. So, you know, we had to do that, which is kind of sucky, but, you know, very good, because we learned that I had a very horrible last start, last session still pisses me off and yeah it's pretty much it and uh, I think I'm gonna continue the rest of the series like this calm and collective because if I try to be very loud and different we learn that I die instantaneously look there's a delivery crate over there which probably means there's still gonna be two more that drop down Two little buckets who just destroy the tree and rocks right there. Good on them. Also, I barely have anything face in front, so that sucks. But this battle should last only a couple seconds, in actuality. And there we go. There we go. All right. So yeah, I think it's a great idea to add in those delivery crates because one they get to offer me some goods and two I get to kill some guys you know that's great because whenever I kill the guys I get even more parts a win-win for me and the delivery crate and so this delivery crate is it's um a large resource receiver that would be handy for something. And this is what? A bubble projector. Okay. Well. We have an enemy trying to shoot us. That's fantastic. I hate when parts do that. Ooh. Some more missions. Crafty business number three. Hmm. We're always going to teach us this, this time. Take a rebel station. The a rebel station may have been set up. <gasps> we get to steal their stuff. I always like to steal people's stuff. Unboxing. There's a block delivery crate. Ooh, that's great. You're a winner. Did this just increase? Congratulate. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! You've been randomly selected in our free prize draw. A delivery crate containing your prize can be found nearby. Just head over there and unlock it to claim your free prize. Let's see what's in this delivery crate that I won. Oh, wait, no enemies, really? I was for sure that there was going to be some enemies. Oh, it's their picker collector. You can carry it. Yeah, okay. It's just, it's just like the GSO one. And... Enough of us twiddling our thumbs. Let's go to Crafty Mike and see him once again. How far is he? Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. That you over there, kiddo? Hmm, wasn't the right voice. Ahoy there! Come visit old Crafty Mike again, have you? Well, you're in luck. I'm just in the middle of a new project. And I know how much you love helping out your old pal. Perhaps you could attach that filter to the base for me. You gonna teach me about filters, huh? Great. What's that, kiddo? What does the filter do? The clue's in the name, of course. It's a conveyor which filters chunks. So some chunks are passed on to it, while others ignore it. Why don't you try it why don't you try it out yourself, kiddo? Drag this fiber wood chunk directly onto the filter. Oh. Oh, 
sorry, sorry. Fantastic. So why would we need to filter specific chunks? Kiddo, I thought you'd never ask. Oh. Thought you'd never ask. Special delivery incoming. Mind your head, you know the drill. All normal stuff. Especially at this point. Burning through the sky, it's the furnace generator. The furnace generator uses fuel to power your base. It even works during the long, cold nights. Attach the furnace generator to the base if you be so kind. Now that is what I'm talking about. That fiber wood powered up the batteries and shield nicely. We need to keep the generator stocked up with fuel though. Watch the filter go to work on these assorted resources. Like what? I mean, I, I understand how it works. It just takes the wood and moves it. That's it. It filters. So the filter passed all the fiber wood to the generator and left everything else towards the silo. I'll let you in on another one of my little secrets, kiddo. The generator doesn't d only use fiber wood for power. It can use other fuel type resources too. Right click and blah 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 blah. Oops, sorry. Now hover over the filter fuel chunks only button. Oh. Huh. Ah. Uh, there we go. That was so stupid. That's it. Take a look at some of the other resources that can be used as fuel. <coughs> I figured that'd be it. Okay, that makes sense. You seem to be enjoying yourself, kiddo. So why don't you keep this base powered for me while I'm gone? Dude, I'm gonna totally steal it. Don't worry, I'll be back. Soon. Later, kiddo. Dude, you never come back unless you have something to teach me. And even then, I steal your crap. Well, you know the drill. Let's take this stuff for my own. Can you... Can you, can you not? Seriously? Crafty Mike doesn't just give us things to know about and how to use, but he also gives us a free little stuff to add to our own base. Or, you know, we could always sell them. He's a nice guy. Although, someday at some point, I wish I could really kill him. You know, it'd be fun. Be a little, little, it'd be a little bit funny. Oh boy. That's a lot of enemies. But sure, we'll try and take him out. Because you know what? We're good people. And that one robot's getting his butt kicked. And that one just came down. All the base guardians are down. Ooh, the base is yours. And I bet that guy up there is going to attack it. Uh, what's this? Three pound cannon? A solid base of cannon turrets. Ooh. I guess it's kind of like an upgrade to my, for my, um, coil laser. That's nice. It's helpful. And your base is just a payload. That's kind of sad. It's also very disappointing. I expected a real base. Not some rubbish little doodad. <sighs> oh well. At least some of these jobs are easy, I guess. But I mean, still. What, what, what's this? Geothermal generator. That means I can use the steam from the rocks. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Although it doesn't really help me if I live in a 
Salt Lake area, though. Actually, I have no idea what the hell to call this. I think it's the Salt Lakes. I might be wrong. I, I have no idea. Ah, oh, mother frickin' hater. I really hate when an invasion comes. I really hate that. Because I... Hmm. Because I don't believe I can take down an enemy. You know what? Let's try it. And if not, then I can run like, run like a little baby. Oh god, I think I chose wrong. No, I did not! Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm... surprised? Ooh! This is the first venture I've ever seen! Ah! Okay, let's collect my spoils and run away before another one comes back. Or, uh, another tech comes here. Because, yeah, I hate when they do that. I look like a walking disaster. Alright, guys, come on. I'm ready to fight. Or, you know... It's just one of those days where I get lucky and I get an upgrade. That's that's good for me, promotion. Okay, well, um honestly did not expect that. A three piece? That's unheard of. Alright, well let's collect some of this resource stuff and we'll head on out of here. And uh yeah. Oh boy, why is the base so far? Oh boy. Mm. The major pain in the butt is that you have, you have to manually take things off and place them on a black. I mean, really? It's so annoying. Ugh. Yeah, no, we're just gonna build a whole new one. Because, yeah. We have the resources, we have the time. Why not? This is the one bad part. When you build so many things, you manually take them freaking off because you don't want them flying everywhere. Ugh. Oh, look at the little tiny drill. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I mean, that'd be really helpful, but I mean, it's like a, not like I need it or anything. My god! Look at how fast I am! That's only with two wheels, dear god! <whistles> now these are some puppies that... Do I have some more? <gasps> Not enough for it to be stable, though. Hey, you know what? It'll work. Cause that's pretty cool. Yeah, the only downside now is... Having this vehicle be this size and honest to god nothing for nothing to protect it with. The one thing I can notice right now is that at least I have protection in all four directions. And I can also place some of those down here. So that'd be nice. Also, this is not the finished version of this vehicle. I just didn't realize I didn't have enough blocks to make this a bit how I wanted it to. So for right now, this is gonna be the vehicle, I guess. Okay, so, this is the progress, yeah, so far. 
could be better. Um, but for right now, we're gonna use this vehicle to skate across and get us new, uh, new, um, not vehicle, a new mission. That's what I was talking about. But first, I should get one of my radars. See, kids, this is why you stock up on stuff. Because whenever you need it, you'll have no idea where the hell it is. All right, and of course they're by the trade the trading station. Little pricks. Okay, I think I saw crafting. Okay, woo. All right, great. So we got crafty Mike business four. Destroy enemy squadron. Capture enemy base and another harvester. That's useful. <laughs> I really, really enjoy these new vehicles. I mean, the new tires for this thing. Okay. Let us drive over there. Oh, he's, he's just up on the hill right there. That's that's sweet. And it doesn't take as long because we have these new tires. Only for this vehicle, though. I see you there, kiddo, over here. What's up, kiddo? What am I doing here? Standing in the middle of this deserted quarry, you ask? Well, I heard a juicy rumor that there might be precious resources hidden under these rocks. You can help me find one of these underground resource seams? Let's get drilling. Should I? Okay. <laughs> oh, the little drill is really useful. That's cute. All right. No? Well, does this one count? Okay, Crafty Mike, screw you, seriously. It's probably this one. You found an Oliite seam. So the rumors are true. And we need something to harvest those precious resources. Mind your head. Uh, let me get done mining this first. This auto miner will do the job quite nicely. It will extract resources from a resource seam until it runs dry. Go ahead, kiddo. Anchor the auto miner on top of this thing. That's it. Now watch it as it goes to work on that. Wait, is that the time? <gasps> I need to get going. You take care of things here for me, kiddo. Thanks. I owe, oh, I owe you one. Adios. <clears throat> Probably has some love he's going to. Also, uh-oh. I'll just, I'll just hang on to this while we go. Because I do not have the um, structure or support for this thing. So, Guardian, come to me. Or, you know, stay back there and get shot. That, that's okay with me, too. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I can take the blocks, Marty. I think I would. What's this? A down conveyor? That could be helpful. Now see, this is a base I would expect to find. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez, that other base was like a stupid little... Oh, uh, why is that on the floor? Oh my god. Kill that little guy. <clears throat> he stands no chance. Okay, I guess I'll start taking all this crap and transporting it to my base. Yippee. Oh, that's that's not terrifying at all. See my vehicle teeter. Oh boy. 
<sighs> so yeah, it's been it's been a long couple days since I've done anything like this. And it's really refreshing. You know. As always, I am taking their stuff with me because it's just what I do. A booster jet? Huh. I mean, I really don't need that, but that's good to know for the future. Those pricks. Ah, oh. Let's go show them who's boss. Especially when they tinker with one's own stuff. Yes, I know that's an auto miner. Thank you. You prick. Those are my resources. You think you can just steal them? Oh no, that's my bedside. Mm -mm. Take your hand off my items, you little jerk. Yeah. Hmm. Not so funny now, is it? Little prick. I'll teach you. Does that thing actually follow me? Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Oh! Oh! <gasps> that means I could build an army of techs! Oh! That's awesome. All right, I want you to... I can't drive you, though. Um, No, that's okay. That's that's fine. Still pretty cool, though. Pretty freaking awesome. Hmm. Recover your SCU storage device? What? We've dropped another one to near to your location. Okay. The quick and the dead. A venture tech has been spotted around here spreading bad vibes and ruining everyone's chill. Oh, cool! Hooligans. There are some hooligan techs in this area. Let's take out the trash. I mean, fine with me. Alright. Get some new... Oh boy, that's... How far is that? Right, I don't have a map. Completely forgot. Let's go kill these guys first. Mainly because they're closer. So, yeah. This is turning out to be very swell, if I do say so myself. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now, I've just been collecting a bunch of money, buying these types of blocks, and yeah. Defeated before reinforcements arrive. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I guess I just... Hmm. Jesus. That's, that's too many enemies, though. Like, really? That'll help a lot. Okay. So, here's what I learned. I should not do what I just did. Because... Oh, God. For obvious reasons. And that's something I'll probably never do again. What's this? Wireless charger? Allows for the charge of batteries and transfer of energy from generators or charged batteries on one tech to another. Oh my god! That is incredibly awesome! This looks like a nuke. Proper fuel tank. To supply the boosters. And this looks like a nose. Cow Tetra Plow. 
So many new things! And here are my blocks. Fantastic. Alright, so one of the things that I need to stop doing is hoarding all these things. Like, really, it's screwing me over. Ugh. Okay. As long as we avoid any more fights, I should be okay. I should be living for another day. Well, let's let's see how long that lasts. Okay, looks like five individual blocks, and a guy with two shields in the distance. You found your SCU storage device. Pick it up and then place it on the ground to anchor it. Good job. Wait. I'm getting some heat signatures coming in fast. The blast! Looks like enemy raiders. Can you can you can you please not? Can you please not destroy it? I would really love that. Yes, I know defend it. Shut up! Thanks, control, you can shut up now. Enemy is neutralized. Hang tight, it won't be long to your what? Fantastic, your CG, your something is powered up and ready to go. You will collect blocks and beam them to your wireless storage, I think. You can access your store blocks while in your build beam. Try it out. Oh my god! Well, I'll be damned. Select from available blocks, hold alt or deselect the current block to grab mode. The inventory is split into lots of different categories, have a look around. That is going to be really helpful. Oh my gosh. I... And it just stores that. Or at least uh, as long as this thing is up. Creates a wormhole to another dimension. This one only works while anchored. Holy crap! I mean... That is awesome! As long as I keep my base extremely secure... I can just do that from anywhere! That's so cool! Find and defeat Venture Drifter. Oh... No, I'm... No, thank you. I don't want to touch those guys at all. Wait. Oh, those are the hooligans. Err. Well, I mean, I've just been over here building a stupid base. So. Ah, oh, bye. This is... This is starting to become a little bit of a challenge now. I mean, yeah, that's good, but... It's also incredi incredibly, incredibly, incredibly bad. Oh boy. I'm glad I went over there to get this. Alright. That means I could just toss all this down, right? Oh. <gasps> oh. <sighs> oh, well, you know, that kind of stupid. Which means, if I do fail, and this gets destroyed, that means they're just in another dimension! Oh. And then I could eventually get myself back up to where I can fix it. That is incredibly helpful. Oh my god. Well, I guess that's all going in there. Even though that was very accidental. so cool. That is so cool. I'm starting to rethink my options as one big guy starts to attack the other Oh gosh, there's three of them. Who will win this fight? We will watch and find out. And it looks like Big Yellow is going down. Oh my god. Look at them tear each other from limb from limb. Block by block. Oh my god. Oh! 
Look, a little baby guy. You're gonna die, kid. You should run while you still can. Well, you're kind of stupid, so... Goodbye. Okay, so since both of those corpses are now a part of me, which is kind of disturbing in a way, and very good at the same time, being conservative, let us go take down this Venture Drifter, and then steal his vehicle, his little robotic parts, for myself. All right. Great, I got a license. Great one. Now I can finish up that, uh, pretty quick vehicle I was making. So I think I've roamed in this desert for long enough. I mean, we've done a lot, so... I'm gonna leave this episode off right here. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you have a comment, a suggestion, or whatever, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you want to check this game out yourself, a link to it will be down in the description below. And well, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.